Hey guys, in this video, I want to make a solar panel mount. So I have two different panels from Bouge RV. This is their monocrystalline 200 watt solar panel. And this is their polycrystalline 180 watt panel. This is their 9DB, I think it's called, which has much more compact cells, which makes it a smaller array. As you can tell, 200 watts versus 180 watts. This panel is gonna be a lot more ideal for shaded conditions or cloudy conditions, because if you actually shade one of these cells, the rest of the panel is still gonna produce power. Whereas this style here, as soon as you shade one little bit, it's just gonna knock it right out and you're not gonna get the series connection. So the way I'm gonna wire these panels is I'm gonna wire them in series. So let's see what we're gonna lose out on if we do wire them in series. And on the Bouge RV 200 watt panel, we have our max power voltage of 17.89, let's just say 18 volts. And our max power current is gonna be 11.12 amps. And on the 180 watt, we have 18 volts and 10 amps. All right, so if we take the two panels at the 18 volts, once we series connect them, we're gonna double the voltage to 36 volts. And then we're gonna use the lower denomination of amperage, which was 10 amps on the 180 watt. And that is gonna bring us to 360 watts. So I'm gonna have a little bit of a decrease in performance by pairing a 180 watt panel with a 200 watt panel. But this is what I have, so this is what I'm gonna use. So next, the way that I'm envisioning building this, I'm just gonna use regular two by fours. And what I'm gonna do is build a triangle so that in the summer months, I'm gonna be at roughly a 30 degree angle. Then I can actually rotate and flip the mount over. And during winter months, I'll be at let's say a 60 degree angle, and then I'll have my 90. So that way it's gonna be a dual purpose uh, mount that I can use summer and winter, depending on the seasons. So let's get started by figuring out the angles and the cut length of my solar mount. Okay, now first thing I'm gonna do is I've mounted my brackets. Now this isn't the traditional way. Normally you would flip this over and have your screw holes on this side, but I wanted to do the inverse and actually have this tucked underneath the mount. It's gonna make it a little bit harder. I'm gonna have to screw these down to the mount itself and then put the bolts on that hold the panel. A Little bit more difficult, but I find it to be a lot more cleaner of an install. So what I wanna do is figure out my total length. So I'm looking at 52 inches, but I'm actually gonna go, so I'm gonna go the complete width and leave a bit of overhang past the bracket. So we're looking at about, we'll say 54 inches. So 54 inches is the width that I want to do my array, and then I can figure out my angles after. Okay, I'm pumping some numbers into this triangle calculator. Now I could have done it all on my own using, you know, math, but this makes it much easier. So you can see B, uh, we have 54 inches, and then I actually chose to go with a 55 degree angle for the winter time. And then if I rotate this and flip it onto the 44.24 inch side, then I'll have a 35 degree angle, which is gonna be better for the summer. And I'm thinking on the 30.973 side, I'm actually gonna put uh, a set of casters on there so that I'll have 30 inches to move this thing around, um, which is gonna make it a lot easier for mobility. I could just lock it down with some tie straps. Pull out the miter saw and start making some cuts. Okay, cutting a 17.5 degree angle to make 35 degrees once it's all put together. And there I go. Okay, I've got my uh, start of my frame anyways. And let me tell you, getting these cuts here uh, 30 degree and then this was a 55 and then a 45 to remember not being in school for such a long time for carpentry to remember how to actually make these angles and set it up on the miter saw was a little bit of a challenge uh, I haven't done it in years and years and years so it was a challenge but I got it a little bit of cursing but 
that's the frame. Now I'm going to screw it together and then that's going to be the main parts of the uh, solar mount. Okay, and now I have my basic frame. So as you can see, it's just two triangles, a spreader, and then once I mount my panels, that's going to hold this side here together. So all that's left to do is mount the panels on here. This is going to be the summer angle. And then if I flip it up, this is going to be the winter angle on this side here. And the final product. So I have a handle here. I can lift it up. And now I can move this array around anywhere I need to. And what's also really neat is this angle here is for the winter. It's about 55 degrees. And then if I flip this down, now this is at a 35 degree angle, which is going to be good for summer. So I have a winter and summer mix on this. So that is really nice. Now what I can do is if I put this in the winter mode, it should be fine, but I have a couple of ratchet straps and anchors I'm gonna put into the ground and then actually hold this down so it doesn't get blown away or tip over. So that's gonna keep that secure. And there we have it, the array is in the winter position. I've got some stakes into the ground with some really cheap ratchet straps. That's gonna hold it, not gonna allow it to tip over. So this project was just a fun project that I had some extra panels lying around. I figured I would try and use them. So if you like this type of thing, let me know in the comment section below and thank you very much for watching. Bye.